Now there's the holly cupcake, but then you could also use a bow or something to decorate it. I've made a little one here and that will just stick onto there. Now it must be careful when you stick it down that you only stick it onto one of these flaps here so that when it opens you can, well you can actually open it but they look really pretty with a bow on or you could put it on its side like that. Make sure you stick it onto just one of these flaps though. I'll show you how easy that is to make. I'm going to make one for the large uh, cupcake. There's the design here, the pattern template that I've printed out. I've also printed both sides on with some Christmas designs. I've got this big design here with a white poinsettia and the same design but in a much smaller design here. Uh, so I'm going to use those two. Now first thing you need to do is just take your template and just cut it roughly out so you can stick that down onto your backing paper. Now I've got a little bit of masking tape here all you've got to do first is just stick this down over the top Now before I cut it out, I'm just going to trim down here, so I'm not wrestling with a big sheet of card. Okay, that's just cut out. Now you can see here you've got black lines, you've also got dotted lines. With the dotted lines, you need to just crease along there first. Now I've got my ruler, oh actually I think I'll use my plastic ruler and just go along where the uh, dotted line is just crease it through there so that when you come to fold it it'll be much easier crease a couple of times there and crease and crease now you can start cutting it out and I'm just cutting the last bit out you see I've got a little bit of masking tape here that's held it all together and then you've got your template cut out and keep that you can draw around it you can use that time and time again now you've got the natural folds here which you just crease so fold those over first and fold over and fold over here now You've got two choices here. You can either fold over that way, like so, and then fold that back to give you that effect, and then fold over there and fold back so that when you turn it over, you've got the big design on that side there with the flaps, or you can do it the opposite way where you're folding that way and that way, and that way, and that way. So you've got I can fold it right there you go there you go you can see that now it's folded there you go you've got your you've got your basic bow there with the two little tabs on but I think I'm going to do it the other way around so that goes that way that goes that way that goes that way that goes that way so you've got your your two bits there sticking out now what I'm going to do then is just add a little bit of this fantastic glue and just stick these down in the middle Go, just a little bit there just enough to hold them together and you just stick those down and just hold it for a little while for that to dry so that's stuck at the back there now you can fold that over this bow looks a little bit flat so if you put your finger hard down there you can actually push that in where it's creased and you could put a pencil in there as well if you want to and just roll it around but I'm just going to do it with my finger for now so where it's creased just push it in gently and you'll see that will open up nicely just open that up like so and you've got more of a 3D bow as you can see try and get even each side there's your bow now to finish that off I've just got some of these crystals here flat back crystal 
I'm just going to peel one off, they're self-adhesive, you could do a blob of glue and some glitter if you wanted to, but I'm just going to finish that off. And that is now ready to go on to your big one. So instead of putting holly, I'm going to put one of the bows on the top there. <laughs> 